Welcome back to Let's Play Condemned Criminal Origins, Burning Dog fans. We're here in the shitty basement of the uh, abandoned public library in order to access the school district records and find out which school the teacher who ratted out the torturer was employed at for some reason. Jesus, Thomas, it took you long enough. Ah, oh, Christ. Trying not to point it directly at her since people don't appreciate that. Oh, I don't need that. Alright, no metal piece on the side of that thing. How did she get there without encountering any of those guys? If I were Monolith Productions, I would have, uh, put an easter egg in this game somewhere, where you find an out-of-the-way room and fucking Paxton Fettel appears. This is getting out of hand. We need to get this microfiche information and get out of here. Agreed. You mind taking the lead through this area? Oh, sure. Eight years ago would put the kid and the teacher at the same school in 1997. Hmm. Here it is. Shit. He's gonna get Anderson, his information from us. I've had a lot of Carl Anderson's, but I bet this is our guy. He was enrolled or sentenced to an educational rehabilitation center for the severely troubled. St. Joseph's Secondary on Northeast 52nd and Fremont. It's been closed for five years, and no wonder. That's one of the worst parts of town. Christ, the cops have just been letting it go to hell for years. And what about the faculty? It doesn't list occupations, just a list of names. I'll take it back to the lab and see what I can find. It's him. He's been listening to us. It looks like we've attracted other unwanted attention. So Rosa, how good are you with a 2x4? for it. This is the first cutting weapon I've had. Oh, this is the place I've been. Oh! I know where this is. This is where I was wandering around in the first video of the day. What about our serial killer X? He's got the same information we do, so that means he's also going to go to the school. Great. Catch two killers with one net. I'll drive you there, then head back to HQ and work on that faculty list. Eh, not bad. I think it's always been the pump shotgun. It's just it's really effective at fucking stopping dudes. 
and there are kind of a lot of them. Internal report number 283. Warrant issued for FBI agent. An APB has been issued by local PD for FBI agent Ethan Thomas, who mysteriously disappeared after his gun was used to kill two local detectives. Even though the agent's name is yet to be released to the press, local PD is taking the situation very seriously and reportedly will use force if necessary to bring the alleged cop killer into custody. I got search for Thomas, me it's Malcolm. How are you doing? Is the investigation going well? It's going as well as it can be. Wait, what are you doing here? How did you know where to find me? Oh, just a coincidence. Saw you from across the street. Coincidence? I don't know what your game is here, Van Horn, but I've got a job to do, if you'll excuse me. Creepy. Creepier. I really don't want to be here. I'm just trying to get this pipe here, but this is better than nothing. I don't know that I've ever seen a wooden swivel chair. Fuck. You know what? There we go. What a strange coincidence that that would happen just now. Looks like a homeless man made this place his bed and then was murdered when someone else came in and was crazy. Yeah, desktop, all right. The graffiti is a nice touch. <laughs> On a side note, fuck this place. I hate it already. I saw that. Still not entirely sure any of this is real. Like in Fear 1, there was clearly supernatural bullshit going on because pretty much right from the get go. That was weird, I was stuck. Uh, things were going crazy. You know, like uh, almost skeletonizing. Uh, a couple of members of Delta Force in the very first level. No, the second level. The first level was the uh... what's it called? The uh... the abandoned building that turned out to be the end game. I feel like this sued used to be students. Remember when I pulled the railing off of uh, the back of the train? That's the only time I've ever had access to that thing. What's up with that? 
Alright, fuck. Let me just peek out into the hallway again. Did I miss anything else? No. See gas pipe, those are pretty good. Great. Sneeze. Okay. Bless me. Um. I'm not feeling great about this area. Probably noticed that. He's all mutilated, but at the same time, his skin isn't gray and horrible like the guys from the uh, subway. Fuck you, box. Oh, it's a Bunsen burner. I guess they're using it to cook meat. So I guess this is a science lab. Piss drink. That works too. This looks like the perfect place to put a bird. It's out of the way. You don't need to go, you know, you wouldn't think to go there once you saw the hole in the wall. You know, I mentioned earlier that uh, this game has a lot of rooms that don't serve any purpose to the player, but make perfect sense as stuff you would find in the environment. You know, like I went to, here's like a useless tool room in uh, the metro station. It's something that would be there because they need tools to repair the stuff, but other than grabbing a couple of melee weapons, there's really no point to be here. It was more pronounced in uh, Fear 1 where you couldn't just grab any random object and make it into a melee weapon. But yeah, yeah, that's still here. And yet, even in universe, there is no reason for this to be here, unless this used to be like a coat room, and they yanked out the uh, what's it called, the uh, shelves. I haven't thought about that in years. I remember when I was a kid. A lot of the classrooms in my school had uh, their own individual coat rooms because we didn't have lockers. So it's strangely exciting to hide inside the coat room.
Huh. Oh, could it be? A handrail! The very item I was just talking about. Justice is served. Oh, hey. That's better. Maybe good things do happen in bathrooms and horror games. It's a pretty safe bet that, uh, no disabled people will ever want to use that toilet ever again, so I'm I feel good in taking this handrail with me. Feels like a good balance between the, uh, light, fast weapons, like, uh... Like the pipes. And, uh, the heavy, slow weapons, like the sledgehammer or the axe. Oh. Why'd that door close? He must have been a student at some point. I'm sorry. Wait. No. Ah! Man! What did I hit? Is it this can? No, that would have gone flying if I had hit it with a taser. Why did I... I don't know. Shame that. Good timing. Just walked in. Start sending data when ready. Oh, fuck. Someone cut Processing. off someone's lips. This may take a few. Human tissue. Color adipose deposits and adjacent facial hair stubble indicate that these are human lips and facial skin. Also, I've run the faculty list. The gym teacher at your location during Carl Anderson's tenure was a man by the name of Samuel Tibbetts. And before you ask, yes, Tibbetts' medical records provided his blood type. It's a match with the facial tissue. A guy called the Torturer has him. He's probably dead. Well, that was predictable. See, this game uses the lie established by, uh, CSI. Uh, human blood. I'm, I've been told this. You know, I'm not an expert or anything. I've been told that human blood does not light up under ultraviolet light. In fact, it darkens. It turns black. Like, noticeably black. So you point it at a, uh, uh, you point it at the surface, and it will darken if it had blood spilled onto it. They just make it light up in the uh, in the TV show because it's more visually dynamic. What's up? Oh. 
You know, when I saw the big guy, I thought he was the torturer. Oh! Fuck you. Backtracking for uh, health redos. I'll just finish that thought. Uh, on the other hand, while blood darkens under a uh, ultraviolet light, semen does light up. You know, trace amounts of uh, trace semen will light up under the light. So apparently, there's been a running joke with people who actually know anything about forensics for more than a decade now that, uh... Whenever someone kills someone in the CSI universe, the, they celebrate the crime by masturbating all over the place. So with that profoundly stupid thought in mind, I'm gonna call it. I'm Burning Dog Face, and I'll see you on the next episode of Let's Play Condemned Criminal Origins. I'm gonna keep hunting the torturer. Ugh! Stretch. And, uh. I don't know, collect the pieces of poor Mr. Tibbets. Later!